So you've got your trigger sorted then. Okay. Next one, you alright? Yeah. I'm going to slide down a tad. Nice, I like that. At least you're coming forward, you know the you know the narrow the angle. Nice. Well, I'd say to start, Ed, foot first, then the hands. Okay. Yeah, not together, but foot goes first, then the hands. Okay, so let me get that line sorted out for you. Nice, that's all right, getting yourself in. I like the footwork, footwork's going to be important. I like the fact that you can move your feet. Nice, that's alright, that's alright. Just get used to this. The whole book is just about getting used to it. Next one. Nice, that was nice. I like that. I like the fact that you moved your foot first, then the hands went. That's the first time you've done that. Next one. It's that natural variation again. Next one, next one, next one. Here to learn. Nice, that's it. Not letting your learning get affected by the stumps going down. Good mate, like that, good emotional intelligence. Next one. I think you've got more time than you think you have. And also now, I want you now to take a leg stump guard. I think you're all right with your hands. I think, looks like you, yeah, just, this is an experiment. Because at the moment you're standing in your back path. Your body, can't, your back can't come through your body on leg stump, can it? And back your hands, we're gonna back your hands now, yeah? Because that way you get hit on the body less. Nice, see how you've got a trigger already. It comes across the stumps, that's wonderful. Enjoy that flow. So yeah, legs come guard, wonderful. Next one, lovely. And I think that's actually interesting. Anyway, I'm just learning your physics. This is really cool. Nice, I think you've got a bit excited then. Let the bat do the work, yeah? Nice, that's your best shot today. Look at that high elbow finish. Yeah, really good. Nice, nice. Wow. Nice. So what I want from you on these last few of this bucket, this last few on this bucket, is at the moment you keep your bat all the way down. And I know this is a big ask for somebody who has probably years of muscle memory doing it. But at the moment you haven't got enough time to go down, up and through. Does that make sense? What I'd suggest, you've got Viv Richards style, I know it's a crazy thing to say, Viv Richards waited late, so keep tapping down as long as you're comfortable, but when I go there, your bat's got to be up and then through, because otherwise you won't like loading and waiting there. I like the fact that you've got centre of gravity, so I don't want to disturb that centre of gravity, but at the moment, you'll be too slow if it's one, if you leave it down. Cheers, Ed. better. See how you got more time? And then you just got to learn to time that movement with the, because you'll have extra time then, so you don't want to play it too early. So just get used to having that back lift up. Wonderful. Nice, weighted. This is good, buddy. Yeah? Next one, next one. All that happened, your bottom hand got too excited. Remember, you've got to control that bottom hand. Yeah, use the wrist. Lovely, lovely. That's good, buddy, yeah? Nice, Ed, what a way to finish that bucket. Brilliant. In fact, yeah, let's go again with the orange balls. These are slightly different, yeah? 
because the aim is to get as many reps as possible. Slightly different ball, let it come to you now. Because you're in the zone, so what I'd say, Ed, at the moment, rather than reaching for it, let the ball come to you so you can transfer the weight through it. You know, your body weight, rather than just going hands. Okay. Lovely, and I think you can step towards that. So you've got more time to get towards the ball, to transfer your weight through the ball. Next one, early, but that's all right, that. Lovely, lovely straight line with your back. So wait longer. Next one, next one. I like the fact that you've got confidence, you've got the buzz ball in you. Brilliant. Next one, just get into the zone again. And you, you're standing back up. Yeah, that's it, son. That's the one. Sure. See, your backpack is clean. Frighten me then, son. Woo! Woo! Sorry. Mushrooms. Next one. Ed, that's the adrenaline rush. And I know you spend time away, so you know that you've got to calm yourself. Otherwise, you won't be able to get in that tantric mode. What I'd say at the moment now, my next point, at the moment, you're here. You need to be here. Your posture is everything. Because I don't mind the bounce. You've got a lovely bounce. That's part of your Tai Chi. But at the moment, you're like this. So what I'd say is feel this. Feel, yeah. So try and only bend from the knees, but keeping your back and your eye line upright. So you come in and everything stays. Yeah? Better posture. Lovely posture. Nice, just wait a bit longer. I might, you know, I'll push the pace up a bit. Yeah? Nice, nice. I think, still think you can wait a bit longer. Yeah? And get into the ball, pushing your body weight through it. Lovely. See, that's the closer the ball is, the better the weight transference. Basic physics. Waited. This is good cricket. Shot selection on you, Ed. Shot, shot. That's good. Good flow. That's your meditation point. No mind there. Brilliant. Nice. Now I want you getting getting your feet to it. Because at the moment there's still there's still a lot of camping. There's still a lot of camping here. What I'd say, and now start moving forward to cr create a new muscle memory. It's not something you're gonna implement on match day, but the way I get kids to start getting on the front foot is when I'm doing that, you just slowly start coming in like this because you're gonna to have to get used to being able to go forward, rock back and pull, never, because it, when you face 90, you don't have time to just go back and across. You literally stay on the front foot, a little rock and bang. Do you know what I mean? Yes, at the moment, just I want you to start pressing now, yeah? Do you get what I'm saying? And a good example of if you're hunting an animal, you wouldn't just hunt up from up here, would you? You'd be slowly creeping in. Yeah? Hunt or be hunted. Alright? I still don't see you going anywhere towards the machine now. I want you to walk down a little bit, yeah? Just a little bit. Start walking towards me. Better. See that already because you're creating the law of attraction. By you already going forward, you're going to then look to plane in the V. Do you see how you're going to own the V? By starting by that little trigger movement forward. Yeah, trigger movement forward. Lovely! Awesome! Yeah? So slowly transferring weight forward. Lovely! Now I want you to hold it because the key is you go like that, but then the back leg comes out so you've lost power. Normally you'd hit it, bang, and then stay in it. Yeah, because if you lift the back leg up, you've lost half of your power from the base. Okay, and now you're a good learner, because everything I've said, you just listen, it's the last one, and then we collect them all up. Nice, mate, progress. So let's have a look at yourself. That was a lovely two. Yes, so make sure that's it, because you don't want to bend over. Because imagine, if you tilt your head, look, look down, it looks fucking weird, innit? You know what I'm saying, innit? So try and make sure everything upright, yeah. And then only bend from the knees, and then now we're actually starting to load forwards, yeah? To play in the V. Okay, we're starting with the orange ones. Not the orange ones, the red ones, sir. Nice, nice, Ed. 
What I want you to, I want that batting yoga. I want you to play it and stay in the shot. Yeah? Because then it shows me your balance. Nice, nice. That's not bad. I don't mind. Yeah, but I'll, over time I think you'll get more power from making sure your back leg stays down. Don't mean that's crease because you, you're moving your footwork well. Nice. See at the point of contact, you've got to have both feet down. And then it's okay to follow through. Nice, that's good high elbow. I like that. Now stop, start micro movements. So what I mean by the micro movements is, you know that ball, you get it there. See if you can move a bit more forward and to sort of meet it on a better length. Yeah, just so that you, what we're trying to do is create footwork muscle memory. Otherwise you're just in here to get a dopamine hit. Okay. Next one, next one. Are your legs stump guard? You've gone back to middle. Thank you. Next one. I still think your head was tilting, so now I'm not going to release the ball until I see a decent setup because I want you to create new muscle memory. It's going to get you runs this season. Look, next one, next one. All it was was your weight was back, wasn't it? So start tilting your head forwards with the new footwork. Next one, so that one cramp you up. Make sure you're on leg stump guard so you can access it with your back. Don't worry about getting bold. You've got good reactions. See, that's all right. Yeah, we just want to make sure your back path is clear. That's the most important right now. Okay, head up right because your back, yeah, yeah, there, there. See that? Because if, you, if you're already already into a front shot, they're going to they're gonna just bowl you short and take your head off. Do you know what I mean? I think you need to be at the right posture in that. Yeah? Because otherwise you're falling into your shot before the, the ball's pitch. Lovely. Lovely. And that bounce you caught right. So nice. That, that's part of your trigger, I think, isn't it? Nice. Stay in this zone, man. Yeah, really good. Meditation. Nice. See how you got the on drive? Because your back path is clear. You've got to make sure your compass is set, mate. Otherwise, you're going to get lost in the jungle. Shot. See the flow. Accessing off stump, no problem. Nice. But your head was tilting at the start. Come on, otherwise I don't think you've got a bad back at 36, mate. Oh, that come back and you've went through the line. Keep on this, because I'm gonna put I'm gonna go up a few clicks now. Okay? Change of pace, it's going up two miles per hour. I'll take your legs on guard, you yeah sir. See how that because don't stand on your leg peg because you need your traditional batsman. You need your bat to come through, you'll be protected. You don't even wear thigh guard, do you? I love that. Shot! Lovely, Ed. And you didn't do that crazy walk through at the end, you just did a cool one, in it? That's lovely, Ed. Wait there, that was, to me, that was a lot of bounce and then you're patting down too hard. Sorry, I'm into this zen thing where you don't want to pat down too hard because that'll then make your hands too hard. Yes, it's a zen, son. Nice, see how you can access that middle and leg now? Making sure you set your guard, correct. Brilliant. Nice, see that, beautiful. You're traditional airtight batsman. Yeah, you're the old player, aren't you? Yeah. Nice, excellent, see that? That was your, that was your standard set. You're going to enjoy watching this back. Ed, you still, your head was still leaning. It's my fault. I should have not let you carry on then. Because your head fell across the off stump, then you fell into the shot. Does that make sense? Rather than your foot going. So don't foot that's beautiful. Shot, see that? So you wasn't, you wasn't falling initially then. It's crazy how it, uh, detailed our compass has to be. Nice, yeah, airtight, airtight, orange balls. This is good, buddy. Nice, 
So now it's a slightly different. Have a look at these, a few. They look to be coming down a little bit, maybe, but holding your legs up line so your backpack is always clear when you're coming down. Nice, good flow. Shot again. That's brilliant, buddy. Tilting. Nice. You can't tilt, man, because the eye line, it will just, otherwise it will just, you'll just get led astray. Nice. Nice. Hold that position longer if you can. I want to see that batting yoga from you. You can introduce people to that in the east then. That's it. Taking batting yoga to Asia. Brilliant. You're on. Yeah. Next one. That's fine. Nice. I like that. I like that. Shot. Shot. Nice again, good flow. Last three, maybe walk down, a bit more aggressive. Doesn't have to be walking down. What I'd say is I want more weight going through the ball. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to use the right narrative. Nice, see that? that that's what I want, these last two down and we're going to collect. So weight transferring through the ball again. Lovely, but I think you could get closer on this one. Wait longer, get closer. Lovely. Good flow. This is good, man. Morning meditation for you. Slow again. Keep sweating. Get out of here. Posture. Better. Next one. Next one. Just first, first six of any any new match. Change of you know when you have the drink spray. Always the toughest first six back. That's the way to do it. Shorten your movements. Yeah, that was smooth, mate. Okay, you're still going back onto that leg stump guard. I want you still flowing because as an opener, you're in now, aren't you? Yeah. So now this is the point because we're it building it in in theory. Does that make sense? So now you've got yourself in, get your feet moving a bit more. You've seen some scoring zones. Identify those. And in your scoring zones, be willing to put a bit more through it if you're there. Okay. Nice, that's it, because otherwise yeah, you're sort of batting without any plan. Yeah. You're gonna not when the ball's released, but part of the waiting down there you formulate. That way the pressure doesn't come. Does that make sense? Yeah. Pressure only comes if you've got no plan. Nice, that come back. Keep your back path clear. You're walking across a lot now. Nice, because you've got to have your, because if you, as soon as you get too tight, you know like when you were, when you were like that, that's good, but remember you're trying to get run scoring now, but without getting out, because you are the opener that's going to carry the bat. Head up. Next one, next one, next one, it's alright. I'd say a little bit of fatigue kicking in now, so give yourself that inner torque now, and you're batting on middle of the leg again, you should be on leg. Yeah, give yourself, that's it. Now moving towards the ball. Better. So it's just that little, you know, your inner voice. That is the most important voice yet. So now you just got to say, set up right, set up right. Yeah, get your feet moving towards the ball, leaning. Lovely. Yeah, so you just got to take yourself through the process every time. That will be your meditation. Lovely, yeah? Yeah, so you, that inner voice, you got to use it. It's the most important voice in your life. Lovely! Woo! Sick shot, bro. Head up. Shot, shot. Sorry about you having to tell you about your posture, bro. I need your posture to be right, otherwise I'll fall pam. Shot, shot, get up. Stay in that shot longer and you'll get more power delivery. Yeah. This is a good flow. Yeah, leaning into it. Nice, see that lean, the head position, that's all it is, the lean on the head, isn't it? It's not how big the stride is, it's the leaning of your head. Nice, see that, as long as your head's leaning down, everything all right. Nice, stay in this flow. 
Okay, leaning into it, footwork. Lovely, lovely. Okay, your head dropped, I shouldn't have put the ball in. I've got to remember to be more disciplined. Okay, and your legs look guard as well that time. Yep, wonderful. Nice. Shot, good flow. But I still think you could have stayed in the shot. When you lifted your back leg, that's when the power came out. Nice. That's not bad. Good hands, work with it. Work with it, Ed, because it's tiring as well. Yeah? Next one, next one. So what I do as well, so this is because I like to teach a psychology. Now that the innings has progressed, nobody, you know like when, does the umpire ever rush the batsman? Rarely. So now, in between, take a little bit longer, because I want you to then reset your senses, because otherwise it becomes quite robotic, the training. Now I've got your flow going. I think now, is, now this half an hour will be about tactical mindset. We'll put the speed up as we go along. But I want you to take the time. I don't want to be telling you every time. I want you to feel if your posture's drop. I want you to feel if you haven't got to the ball, because I don't believe in me holding your hand all the while. Does that make sense? Yeah, so it's now about implementation, taking time, but you, using the time to implement rather than just robotically just being here, boom, 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 yeah? Nice, very nice. Last one of the reds. Nice, see this, it's a calmness to it now, isn't it? So again, we're planning in a sense. Nice, nice. As this ball's slightly slower, I'd say, get more closer to it. So start walking down a little bit. Doesn't matter if you get out now. Right now, you want to become a better player by knowing all these little things. Footwork is at the top of the list for a batsman. Start walking down. Nice, yeah? Do you see what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to start walking down now. Because you're in now. You're in. This is the time to do it. Head up. Next one, all that happened, your feet got your adrenaline up, but it shows how important footwork is for lighting your hands up. Move that ball, son. The one if you don't want to get one on your chin from the top of that. Okay, with the footwork, smooth, smooth. Yep, forward. Lovely, see how you tell yourself smooth, smooth, because otherwise what happens is that man lights up, cow corner, do you know what I mean? So all you've got to remember, as an opener, you are the ninja of the team. Yeah, you're not the cowboy, number 11 to the cowboys, they come with their gun slinging. You, my friend, a one inch punch. Head up. Lovely, see that smoothness to that? That's what openers do. They're the guys who can walk down after 10 overs and literally lift it over the goal. We're not gonna lift, because I'm not gonna create bad habits with you. You're a long the ground player, but using the footwork. Head up. Better. I'm sorry if you don't if you don't see your head up, I'm not gonna go back to the independent learning until you do it. Excellent son. Nice, that's not bad because you recognized it and it looked like your bottom hand was lighting up and you made the adjustment not to go wild. Brilliant. Next one, that's the first time your bottom hand's come through a bit wild, hasn't it? So all you do now is take your time to set up, make sure your senses are right, nobody's rushing you, because it is tactical ability. Next one, see again, I think it's just settled, then your head drifted, then your hands drift. So make sure your head's right. I want to see what happened. Yeah, so make sure every single time your head is upright. Almost use this bowling machine as your, yes, as your like alignment. Yeah? Lovely. See how just the littlest thing, the compass, it's like a man going to set sail without a compass. He ain't going nowhere, bro. Lovely, and then footwork in towards it, striding into it, because this is the last six, seven of this bucket. Nice, because then it's like identifying the bowler that you've got to go after a little bit, because it is, isn't it? You can't just crease occupy. Yeah, so smooth when you're coming down and head down still. Loyal, no! Dude, let me take a moment.
You should be taking a moment. That was crazy. Don't be like a drug addict right now, just getting your next live in. What moment, bro? Whoa. That was great. So, did you notice? Footwork was smooth, head was down. Yeah? That's your mantra. Next one, that's all right. It's that adrenaline rush. That's why I got you to calm yourself. Yeah? You'll learn adrenaline is the deadliest one. Same process. That was my bad, I did say something then. So you've got three more, but I want you to do, recreate that for me. You can do it, I want it again. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, keep your composure, keep your composure. Yeah, because it doesn't take long for a bad habit to form. Shot, 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 make the tripod again. Good hands, doesn't matter how you've done it, that's hard for the bowler to protect. Flow, that's it. Because it is, because at some point, Ed, you're going to have to go a little bit agricultural. But what you've shown there is Be agricultural. I'm also pushing the pace up a little bit, so they've decided to bring a slightly quicker guy on, on the drinks break. Nice, see how you're back, clean back back. You can put your hands on anything you can. I've got to feed you, yeah man. Shot it, Jesus. That, that to that. Whoa, that flew off the middle. Nice Ed, keep this going, keep this going mate. You've got a good understanding of that in. Head up. Shot. Not bad at all. I'm gonna have to put my shield up. Is it gone down there? I'm gonna get shot. That's not bad at all. Intentionally going over the top. Are you intentionally going over the top? Yeah. Okay. Nice reset, nice reset, like that. Not, 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 not making your muscle memory go impure there, that's good, mate. Ooh, that's just nip back a little. Okay, back on it again. Yep. Good, mate. I think the other one you just were slow on it, wasn't it? This is good, you're back right back on it, yeah? Need concentration all the way through. Nice, I think you've gone a bit early there. Relax, reset. Head up. Next one, next one, next one. Reset, reset. Because again, we've got to look at concentration fatigue. If it happens in a mat, what you do is slow all your movements down, get closer to it, go back to the basics, what you started with the timing today. Next one, next one. It's not bad. I think you can get closer to it. It just looks like at the moment you're fatiguing. So what I'd say is go closer to it and just tap it looking for the ones. Get your partner on strike. Some of them cowboys are coming in now, aren't they? Let them do the work. Next one, next one. It's because you've drifted up, that's it. Make sure you don't drift across onto your stumps. Give yourself the room, man. Next one. I still think you need a bit more room. Let's explore this, because the bowling machine's found a nice little line here. Yeah? Yeah. That's it. Because your trigger's quite expansive, you'll see. Okay. Nice, nice. Just for now, there's different bowlers. You'll, well, oh, you know like Formula One, they go to a circuit and then they have a setup. Yeah. You'll have to have different setups for different bowlers. The more setups you explore with me, the more you know which mode to use. I won't be able to tell you which mode to use, but I'll give you modes of batting. Okay? So right now, outside the legs, don't forget that's it. Just to see what happens. Okay? Because you've been bowled twice. Next one, next one, next one. Still stay on that, that guard just to explore. Upright, that's it. Okay, now back to leaning forward. You've lost the leaning. 
fine because you just get, I think it's, you know, we all get tired, we forget our little things. I'm here to coach you through it. Yeah, even when you're tired, I'm still going to get you to reinforce your muscle memory. So posture, now you start leaning towards. Better. It's just the leaning, isn't it? There's so many mechanics that are so important, but we'll keep implementing together. All right? Head up. Excellent. Leaning. Nice. Perfect. It's wonderful. It's just, we'll get there. Yeah, we've just got to keep remembering this stuff. This will become your mantra. Head up. Excellent. Leaning. Next one. You know what was good there? Your soft hands. See, see, that is, is quite important because there's no such thing as timing the pants up every single ball. It's unrealistic. You know what I mean? That was good, buddy. So change of the ball. Nice flow. Still, I want you leaning into it, yeah? Because it was a bit of a camper shot. Next one, next one, brother. Next one. Almost it felt like you premeditated because the ball, you played the shot, it felt like you almost watched it go past. Yes, sir. Head up. Next one. Leaning, leaning, leaning because it was camping again. So head up, then leaning towards. Lovely. And then we can lean a bit more because you pulled out the shot. So make sure that tip, that head is tilting throughout the shot. Tilting. Lovely, airtight, yeah? So that's where you didn't let it through. Good, good setup, head up, leaning into this shot. I still think you can lean a bit more. Come on, son, yeah? Let's almost put your weight through the ball now. Visualize yourself putting your weight through the ball. Nice, every time, every time, wonderful. So let's reproduce this by using the same mantra. Head up, leaning into the ball, weight through it. That's not bad, that's the one that got through last time. You've checked the shot and you didn't go too square. So that's not bad at all, good. Head up. Lovely, head. That's good, mate, yeah? And what's good here, you're riding that tiredness. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, just by letting the back work for you now, yeah? Nice, very nice. Airtight. See if we can lean more towards it, see if we can walk down a bit more. Next one, next one, towards it, towards it, but the idea is lovely. And it happened last time, it shows you your footwork gets your adrenaline pumped. So you've got to say walk down, but stay smooth. Yeah? So walking down, staying smooth and leaning. Lovely, yeah? Same again, same again, yeah? Because that way you controlled your hands by saying smooth, buddy, smooth, head up. Nice, you went early, but walked into your back path. So make sure you visualize Visualize where your, your, you know, this middle path to make sure it's clear for your back. Otherwise, you're going to lose your arc. Lovely. See that? And you're still able to keep your back path clean for your back to come through. Yeah, so walking down, but keeping your arc clear. And making sure it's a smooth connection. Lovely. That's all right. You'll get closer to it. So what I say, smooth footwork means smaller steps, but more steps. Lovely, lovely. You're building it. Head down next time in that one. See, the important thing so to do is get used got to this side arm, yeah. So you start implementing those things I've taught you. Well done. well done. Just getting used to it, yeah? Make sure you still try that, yeah, keeping your back path clear. Is the light affecting you there? Now let's go on the other side. It's dangerous, bro. Because it's mucking me up. Because if you colour one, Let's go, brother. So now keeping it smooth towards the ball. Yeah, just because it's a slide I'm anxious a few. Because sometimes you might only go in with six deliveries then. You wouldn't because you're an opener. But I don't know in what weird situation that would happen. But at the moment, I know you're in. So just start coming down a bit. See that, I'm sure. Nothing for me, because I'm so sure we'll come up here. And we're in England, dude. You're not going to end up playing on the next at a wrong card. So you can afford to come down. You see the beauty of it now. Yeah? Because as an opener, once you're in and you start coming down, you set the tone for your mates in the hut. Yeah? Nice. 
Nice, nice. Yeah? What a smooth that, smooth. Does it look like there was a little panic flourish at the end? Yeah? So, I still think you could be a bit more smooth. But I love the courage of footwork. So, footwork, head down. Shot them. Boy, that's good, man. Really good. See, in that moment there, you take that in. So you've got all the reps. Now take it in, fill your lungs. Reset your senses. And remember, make sure the adrenaline has reset. This adrenaline has a taste. Yeah, so make sure you lose the taste. I know I'm going on. I'm teaching you some important samurai things. through having a good technique and a tactical understanding and this footwork is a tactical understanding isn't it next one next one your head lifting and you didn't go towards the ball but the footwork was good so now smaller steps because i'd say you went you went big steps so let's say small steps so look look if you've got small steps backwards forwards do you know what i mean but it's that it's making sure that you travel together so it's a whole and then next thing you make dancing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah? But it's making sure you don't get planted. Yeah? Once you plant, you're in trouble. So stay like water, like Bruce Lee says, yeah? Smooth leaning. Nice! See that? That's not bad. Don't look for that perfection. It's the first time I've seen you go. Did you? That was not bad. It was smooth into you. Yeah? Because you don't want to end up creating that perfectionist mindset because it's non-realistic. I actually think it's non-functional. Yeah, you've got to be realistic, yeah? Next one, next one, next one, son, next one. Yeah, it's fine, you're learning. Because all you'll be, see if you go like this and then go back there, you're in a negative state. You know your body's fighting against you. You don't want to go play against you. So we're going to think next one. Next one, you're here to learn. Oh, your hair will fall out like me. And that won't be good, mate. Nice, see that? Learning frame of mind. You stay relaxed. Your zen was good. Yeah, because in a match it might happen. And you don't want to be the guy to get you out. You already got 11 guys trying to get you out. Yeah, remember, you set the tone. You're the opener. Not bad, you just overheat it, but you kept your back up clear. Yeah? Okay, it's good. And then lean in through because that was almost a camping shot, just push your hands. So now reset, if it happens in a match, you go through your process and you tell rather than, rather than having negative body language, all you're saying, right, I just missed this, let's implement it on the next ball. Okay? Positive self-talk. Shot. Shot. See that smoothness? Now that's it. Back to your Back to your base, calming the adrenaline, leaning. Next one, next one. Make sure you stay safe inside. Don't even if it's up. Yeah, to stay, stay, stay. Your pads are on your side. Don't square up to it. Next one, next one. That's the, that's the, that's the body that we're all looking at. Move on to the next one. Pass this one off all you can do. Otherwise, wasted energy. Next one, so it's good Yorker, first one up. The first Yorker we've had today. Even the machine one, the Yorkers today, that's it. Next one. That's where you just, that little nod to the bowler. You know that little sportsmanship nod. Also takes the edge off. Nice. 
didn't get phased by the York Home Office, went into respect mode for the bowler. That's nice. You know what I'm saying, that respect mode? Because at some point there will be a bowler and you've got to respect him. So, leaning. Okay, that time, okay, so now I'm going to go through that whole setup again. Because you I think you are a little bit tired because you're leaning around your back. So you tell yourself don't lean around your back. Because as a bowler, I'm looking, thinking these are going to get yourself there. No, because I love body language, you see. I'm going to, through body language, I can almost interpret, but I don't will interpret through body language. You know what I mean? So now, you should posture, start strong. Yeah, you know you're tired, you're in your 70s now, yeah? So you're just going to say, how much do you want that? Yeah? Breathe in, yeah, that's good. Because over time we'll break down each session into a hundred innings. Next one, next one, so it's a good ball. Yeah, and then move on to the next one, set up. Get your feet moving, because potentially you can turn the Yorker into a low full toss. Yeah, We're using footwork. Shots in the difference, Ed. Hunt or be hunted, eh? And you hunted me that time. Brilliant. Yeah? Through your footwork. Remember that little hunting? Beep, beep, beep. Yeah? Hunting, yeah? Hunt or be hunted. Shot. That's alright, it's alright. It's alright, not bad ball. You had the footwork flow, and what you did is you managed your hands, you calmed them then. Because you were almost in the bad position, then you checked the shot through the wrist almost. And remember, there is no particular way, it's just function. It's along the ground, so function served. Shot. That was a Yorker, wasn't it? You've done well there. Really good. So now this, is, this particular moment has a, you know, a taste, a feel, lock it down. You know, like this is you in control, building anything, so you've gone from 70 to 75. So just tell yourself this 70 to 75. Now, you know, just it doesn't have to be proper on it, but you know what I'm trying to say? and it manages you. Shot, 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 smooth. Now you reset, you can time in between, because you know, they pass that ball around, and in that time, you fill your lungs, you find your senses, make sure your face is straight. Nice. I still think you'll be coming down here now. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. Just so that, it, that we keep on building on that muscle memory. You know, this base. I'm going to make this base like a fortress. Yeah, so we're fortifying it in a sense. Oh, that's my bad as well. <laughs> I think we all got away with it. You can, I can get wide when I'm at four. <laughs> Because I, I, I hate white. You know I bought 70 of them last year and you bought one white. Really? Not one single white. That was my mission, man. I, I didn't bought as many variations though. It's not bad, you've got to be too hard hands. Let's put some more. Because I chatted, it took you any song. Because that's what I'm doing. No, that's what I mean. Not because of the song. You know the flow. It's uninterrupted. I believe in that rhythm. So I did. Interrupt a little. So I've got one match band from my player now. Nice. You opened up so nicely and you went straight. Remember, it's not how pretty it's not, it's a function you serve. Yeah? Because you were nowhere near, but your hands are straight. Woo! Do you know what I mean? That flow is what, mate, I'm telling you, drug free medicine. Nice, that's alright. See the way I was able to change the length. If you keep coming towards it, you can to change the length. How much has come off the ball here from me? So do you understand how you then get the intel on me? Yeah? Now it's about because remember what wins wars now is intelligence, the intel. Sorry that I've gone about a lot, but I think in a different way and I'm gonna make you think that way. Okay. Okay, so know this, stay smooth, stay leaning, and even go early, yeah? Nice, see the 
are you able to then work your way through the single? Because even though I saw you coming, you know I'm probably going to change it, probably not. I'm trying not to change it too much because then I go white like the other one. But you've done really well there. Milked another single, so you're close to 80 now. Probably are an 80, there's three singles out there. Nice! Nice! That is very good. What's great here now, right? you've got shot selection, not everything has to be sent. You know that's comfortability, you're showing your relaxed peace. Shot! 83 runs, come on. Yeah? One wide as well. Oh, sorry, mate. Okay. I don't know what happened then. I've got to concentrate. If I don't put my left arm off, see, I've got to, you know, process it. You're having to implement your processing. So then I'll have to walk down and tell myself. But it's just, a, you, know, you know what I say, lifelong learning, Ed. Yeah, you could come You could come back 10. You could just like a match to get the other wide chucked in there. Yes. <laughs> Flow, clean flow. You're diving up on a 5G phone there, bro. Really good. Yeah? Maximum bandwidth in that shot. It's not bad. You've got to go that way. Touch your bottom hand so you've got to have that self talk. Relax your bottom hand. It's really nice, not great. You know, I used to keep it when I was younger, and I used to name my radio station from behind the stumps, Off Stump FM. I'm telling you, Off Stump FM, a lot of people still know it, man. I just won't stop talking. Shot Ed! Is it Edward or just Ed? Ed. Oh, but Edward. Like, you know what's on your passport? Edward, yeah. Edward. Yeah. I like Edward. It's a nice name. I like history as well. It's got a, you know, certain names have a feel. on the walk forward because then you look up at the bowler and not like saying anything to you, just look up and you an old shit man, my man's fucking walked down and defended me at, at 16 yards, you know what I'm saying, yeah? Weight transfer. See that you're playing for the team? Yeah, a little bit in the air, but it doesn't look like you're just here to camp for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're playing, you know, selfless cricket. Yeah, because it comes a time, yes, you're in there, you're on 87, but you're still willing to put the ball away. Because sometimes you still have to do it at a strike rate. I like this shot selection. Nice! This is good, stay like this, yeah? And every time we practice the century, when you do get to your century, bloody easy because we practiced it, we rehearsed it. Yeah? It's not the unknown anymore then. Nice! Wait! Good. So your back that's clean, man. Yeah? Roll it on the umpire elbow, that's your right shield. Good. Yeah? Remember, your name is like history. Back in the day, you only use shield, eh? Fucking Edward Shield. Yeah, man. Nah, you know what I'm saying? I would say, right, please, man, use that bat like your shield, because you don't wear a thigh guard because you're top, and that's what it's about. Instinctively, you're a batter. Next one, next one, that's commentator's skills. How mad is that? I've, I've read all that time, but I'll tell you about the paper for a minute. This is yeah. cool paper, that's called cool. Quantize Frame of Reference. Nice and relaxed. On 89. Woo, you got away with that one, he's gone to 93 with luck. <laughs> but you know what? That always teaches us how you earn your luck. So now you know your luck, remember it's not a freebie that's going to happen all the time, is it? So use your look up, so use that time now while that is going to fetch the ball. 
Calm your shit, Edward. See how you just fall, mate. See your shit now, yeah? Okay? Shot, that's all right. Give you a single there. 94. Still, there's tension. Okay, your body language, upright, leaning. Nice. No, very nice. Like that. I'll give you a single for the posture. Yeah, that's really good. 94. Blade. Give you another single. Because you push them back, isn't it? Yeah? Then it's just the tap, tap each time here. Yeah. Then I'm only going to bring them up on 98, 99, ready? Yeah? So leaning is the key for your free singles, yeah? Leaning. Next one. Right, that's good, relax. I see, I like that body language. You're very calm there. You can sense it. But you're still overheating it. So my advice at the other end would be just relax, you're gonna get there, but you might get out playing like this because it looks like risky cricket, nice and smooth. You're looking clear, that's it. Make sure your back pass clips, that's the most important point for you. See what I'm saying? That's two again. Yeah? I wouldn't be your four, you'd stay in the shop. Yeah? Ninety-eight. Ooh, that's all right. Relax. Yeah, because you're not tension at ninety-eight. That'll help. Yeah, and I'm getting like my heart rhythm. Nice and relaxed. So what I'd say, start. Make sure you look at your setup. Back, back, clear. Leaning and start smooth forward. That was brilliant. I, I, the worst thing is, it zoomed up onto you. I can't even get my dive. Dude, come on. That was sick, man. What a way to get onto a weapon. Well done. Isn't it? Yeah. Fuck me. No! This is better than raving. This is with me. Broke out in the sweat. I shit myself. That was great. Holy monkey. <laughs> Ed, awesome mate, awesome. So that footwork's on, yeah? Yeah. How important is it? You tell yourself, yeah? Come on, let's go again. I think you still got, oh shit, it's five past, let's go. Last six. Okay. Oh, I love this job too much. <laughs> nice, it's mad that you got it under. Oh, oh. Do you think I should have made you retire on that? So now, you got that six or seven, it's a good one to retire, you don't know when to retire as well. So I want you to end up in a casino or out on the board street at like four o'clock in the morning because you don't know when to quit. You know what I'm saying? See, I don't just teach cricket, Ed. It's all about the higher consciousness, my brother. Chakras. Shot, finish, out. Sorry, I swear, if you want the kids on the app, you are one. You don't want to watch the channel. You know, it's brilliant. We're done. Yeah, yeah. One hour in. I said, yeah, we booked in for an hour in. Don't want too much because otherwise the casino effect again. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know 